Hopefully y'all are making some margaritas too, um, because that's the idea of this, right? So yeah, we can have fun and talk about Netflix and stuff, but the real important thing is booze, is margaritas. So um, yeah, hopefully I can teach some stuff and you know see how it goes. Cool, so margaritas, you know, when you order a margarita at a spot, they always the first thing they ask you is you want that on the rocks or you want it frozen. So we're gonna do both. I'll show you how to do both. Uh, and salt or no salt. So if y'all did the brunch from home with me, I showed you the chili lime salt for the rim of the Bloody Mary. We're gonna do similar to that, but we're just gonna do lime salt, right? So I'll start there, so I don't forget this time because I forgot last time. So kosher salt is what we're using. And in order to get that lime flavor, I'm gonna take a microplane, so it's like a really fine zester, and I'm just gonna zest um, citrus or uh, lime zest in there, right? Just right in there, mix it up with the salt, because it's gonna flavor the salt, and that lime zest is so finely grated that it's going to um, stick to the rim of the glass, and every time you take a sip, you're gonna get this like awesome flavor. Or if you don't like salt, like Chelsea doesn't like salt, um, tough. Andrew's here, what's up dude? Um, magnets, that's how I hang my knives on the wall. It is magnets. Oh man, drop my line in my salt. Never thought of what, the lime zest in the salt? See, that's why we're doing this here, Andrew. We are giving away all the insider secrets that you can only learn with a lifetime of bartending. And now, all you have to do is tune in, and then you got it. You got all the secrets. So I'm just gonna stir this up right with a little salt, and lime zest, just to get it all mixed together. And that's amazing stuff right there. And this will last for a week or so if you want to make like it for a party and you have some leftover or if you're doing margarita Monday and you need a taco Tuesday, you got your salt ready to go. It's Mark and House do. Cocktails.from.my.house. Uh, you'll be hearing from my lawyer because that is illegal to be still my name. All right, so let's see. I am gonna start by dice, uh, dice, wedging a line, right? So that's what we're gonna use for the garnish. So I'm gonna cut it long ways, right? And then when you have it long ways, you cut a little, kind of a little slit, like a little notch in there. And that way it will rest on the rim of your glass. And then you can cut this in half and in half again, right? So you get eight lime wedges from a lime. Quick, simple math. So now the way to get, Bella's here. Chelsea and Bella just went on a walk, so they're back. Uh, so there's JR, what's up, dude? Uh, so the way we're gonna do this is we got a lime, right? It's got the little wedge in there. We're gonna use the lime juice, it's like super sticky, to use that to get the salt on the glass. If anybody just joined, like JR did, uh, what we did first, instead of just doing regular salt, I like to micro zest, the lime zest in the salt, right? Cause it gives you like so much more flavor. Like it's crazy how flavorful uh, this lime salt is. When we did the brunch one, we did uh, chili lime salt, like I just said, and that was awesome too. A lot of people were super stoked about that. And then once you got lime juice all around the room, just kinda do it in the salt like that, right? And you got your salt, salted rim glass. So we're good for that. That's easy, right? Margaritas are actually super easy. This is gonna be lightning fast. Uh, rule one, always keep a clean bar. So clean as you go. You don't want to, uh, you know, make a mess. Or at least clean it up. That's why I love Chelsea. She's like the cleanest cook I've ever. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, so, check it out. We are going to juice some lime juice and lemon juice. So lime juice will be like the, 
the majority of the citrus in a margarita because that's like the classic flavor. But I like to add a little lemon juice too because lemon juice is sweeter than lime juice and it just gives a little bit more flavor too, a little bit more uh, depth of flavor, a little complexity. I don't know. I watch a lot of Master Chef, so I like to use all those words like elevated and complexity. But I don't know what any of them mean, so. Uh, and then I'm gonna juice one more lime, right? So that's gonna give us, you know, roughly an ounce of lime juice. Uh, all the recipes I'm doing are for one drink. Um, feel free to, you know, double it up, triple it up. Even if you're drinking alone, you could always just double the tequila. That's always a good way to have a good margarita Monday. Uh, so there we go. That's about an ounce of lime juice. Okay, so I juice that separately off to the side. I can juice it straight into the um, the shaker because we're gonna measure it out with our bar jigger. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the lemon juice, okay? So I'm just gonna cut this halfways. And this lemon is like the size of a pineapple. So I'm gonna get a lot of juice out of this one. I might save half that lemon for later. Put that in my Topo Chico. Mark, what's up, dude? Y'all keep the comments going, come on. You gotta keep the um, conversation going for me. You gotta help me out here. There we go. So that half a lemon got me about an ounce of lime juice as well. All right. So we are just gonna make traditional standard margarita right now, okay? I have to get my simple syrup out of the fridge. I've been a little preoccupied today, so I'm a little forgetful. Had a crazy weird day today, but we're not gonna get into it. Actually, it was yesterday, I'll take that back. All right, here we go. We are ready to make margaritas. I'm gonna give y'all a spicy option too. It's like, you know, Real easy to make a spicy margarita. You just need to have some fresh jalapenos, which I forgot. So this is going great so far since I forgot the jalapenos and everything, but I will show you how this works. Lime juice, we we'll do about half ounce to three fourths of an ounce. Okay, we're gonna do more lime juice than lemon juice. So I'm gonna do about three fourths of an ounce. Lime juice, you're always gonna build your cocktails on the small side of the shaker if you have uh, this style. Or if you have the one that has like the little pour stop that goes on top, then you only got one side. But anyways, so I'll be using three fourths of an ounce of lime. I'm gonna use a half ounce of lemon. Okay. And then you wanna balance it out, right? So that's the word I always say is balance. And because you wanna taste all the acidity from the citrus, but you also want to mellow that out with the sweetness from the Simple syrup. Absolutely. Uh, so the answer to your question, Andrew, how do you say margarita in Spanish? La margarita. Uh, and then, yeah, just like uh, Tim Pav said, we can uh, keep the simple syrup in the fridge for two, three weeks, totally. And yes, this might be a previous work uniform that I've worn in the past. But hey, this virtual bartending is real similar to actual bartending, except I've already taken like 10 minutes to make this margarita and I'd probably get fired for that if this was real life. So, simple syrup. We're gonna do about, let's see, three fourths of an ounce. It's up to you how sweet you like it. So if you're gonna add jalapeno and you're gonna make it spicy, I would do more like an ounce of simple syrup because you're gonna wanna mellow that spice out. A little bit of jalapeno does go a long way. Tim Pav knows what's up because we did jalapeno mint julep. Whew, that was spicy. So. I am not doing the spicy. Do about 0.75, uh, three fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. And we got that there. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, then let's go to the tequila, right? So I like to do a two ounce pour for all my drinks. If you go to Alcohol Beverage Commission, an ounce and a fourth, ounce and a quarter is your standard shot of liquor, equals one drink. Most bars pour about an ounce and a half. I usually do two ounces. So I'm gonna do two ounces of, this is just regular, you know, gold tequila. Nothing special. You can use the special stuff for sure. We got a bottle of Don Julio 1942. 
I love making margaritas with that because it makes an amazing margarita. A lot of people ask me like, if you're gonna use really nice high quality liquor, how do you make a cocktail with that and not ruin the flavor of it? You still wanna experience that high end bourbon, high end tequila. My answer is always just go less on the other ingredients that go in there. So if I was making a Don Julio 1942 margarita, I am going to just do like a splash of lime juice, a splash of simple syrup, I would skip the lemon juice, and I would stop right there. Uh, and triple sec, that's another classic ingredient of margarita too, right? So for this one, I'm gonna add, so this is the background spirit. Your main spirit is tequila, so that's what you wanna taste first. And then your uh, two ounces is not one shot, sir. Hold on, y'all really took the uh, comments to a whole new level, I gotta catch up. Okay, good question about this skinny margarita. I'll get to that before I add my triple sec. Skinny margarita, I would probably not add any sweetener at all. I would do tequila, citrus, shake it, and then top it with like a sparkling water like Topo Chico or Pellegrino or Club Soda, something like that. Some people do like a little sweetener. I would use something like maybe agave or even like Splenda, Sweet and Low, that kind of thing, like an artificial sweetener, so that way it's still skinny, but it's still sweet. So, background spirit, triple sec, orange liqueur, you can use Cointreau or Grand Marnier, those are really good options. Uh, I'm gonna do about half ounce of this. So we did two ounces of tequila, half ounce, triple sec. Check it out, we're done, All right, that's it. So now here, we're going to shake it with ice, so that way the ice breaks down a little bit, waters it down, really brings all the ingredients together, and then we'll strain it into a glass with new ice, and we'll garnish it with a lime wedge. Uh, if you want to add jalapeno, if you like a spicy margarita, now is the time to do that. Uh, all you need to use is, you can use a muddler if you have one, or like the back of a spoon, and just muddle up the jalapeno, Go easy, a little bit goes a long way. Uh, you can use something crazy like a Serrano or anything like that, but I mean, now you're literally playing with fire, right? So I will show you how this works. I'm gonna shake this up. Okay, key to a good cocktail with a lot of ice. It's also the key to a happy dog. Uh, and so, now I'm just going to put my, um, let's see, Grand Marnier all day. Uh, honestly, I think that's the best. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I can just drink Grand Marnier by itself. Uh, and I'm sure there's some other, like, boutique -y kind of small batch orange liqueurs that are out there. Try something new, you know. Let me know how it was. And uh, it's always fun to try new stuff. So I'm going to shake this up over my shoulder. I'm not going to go too crazy because I'm going to kind of cheat and use this same margarita in the blender to show you all the avocado margarita. Oh, what's up everybody? Everybody's in. Cool. What's up? Alright. So this is going to be a short one guys so I apologize that it's not going to be like an hour and a half like the brunch one but you know People got dinner to make and stuff like that, so I understand. So now that we shook this up, right, we're good to go. You can, two ways, you can strain this out over new ice and put new ice in there. Or what I like to do is some of that ice crushed up, right? So I want to use the crushed ice. I'm going to add that right to there. And then I'm going to top this with more ice. Again, key to a good cocktail is lots of ice. Something funny just happened. <laughs> So, for anybody who doesn't understand what Gabagool is, um, okay, first of all, let's pause on the Gabagool and uh, talk about that delicious margarita right there with that lime salt rim and fresh juices, everything fresh, so good. Uh, so, 
and that's the God of war. I don't know how to say this. So somebody on the last one said that I need a catchphrase, right? And everybody just started ranting in the Gabagool <laughs> in the comments. So you know, hey, I'm Italian from Jersey, and we say crazy things about we pronounce words in crazy different ways, like Gabagool. So that's Capicola. It's a ham, and we call it Gabagool. And so I don't know, everybody wants to tell me to. That's my catchphrase. And that's the gabagool. So, check it out. All right, this is going to be really easy. So, if you're up with me till now, right? So, we're going to do avocado margarita. I was saying before that this is like one of the coolest um, drinks that I've had. I've never had it until I got to Austin. Uh, I've never seen it anywhere else. Um, and let's see, it's awesome. I call it a post workout margarita because. It's got vegetables in it, or it is a fruit, but it's got like, you know, vitamins. So it's like a smoothie. It's like cross between a smoothie, yes, pasta fuzzle, and uh, Sunday gravy. Basically, like, if you can imagine Tony Soprano doing virtual bartending without all the violence, that's kind of what I'm going for. <laughs> See, that was the avocado. Yeah, <laughs> that's the trick for the avocado, right? I don't need to go over that. Y'all need to watch Food Network if y'all don't know how to cut an avocado. Or marry someone with one on his arm. Yes, I already talked about my tattoo and how much I love avocados. All right, so we're going to use like a quarter, see how it goes, maybe use the other quarter. Uh, I definitely don't want to use a whole avocado. Uh, so the way I like to cut my avocado is like that, and I just peel the skin. I don't do that whole like scoop it out with a spoon thing. I may or may not be the avocado whisperer. It's, uh, it's, a, it's another nickname I'm working on. We'll see. All right, so it's gonna go right here. Start with a quarter of an avocado. And then, check it out. I've already got a margarita made, so I'm just gonna dump that right in there, right? And, uh, there we go, right? And so, I got you know Vitamix blender here. So this is just like a margarita, lemon juice, lime juice, simple syrup, triple sec tequila, and a quarter of an avocado. You want to see the ice break the plane of the drink. It's gonna get your good ice to cocktail ratio, right? So I have probably a little bit too much ice in here. So the remedy for that is more tequila and more lime juice and lemon juice because when you're, that was about an ounce of lemon juice and about an ounce of tequila, maybe maybe not an ounce, so let's do a little bit more. There we go, this is for Chelsea. She's having Margarita Monday. And so that's what you wanna see. You wanna see the ice just barely break the, the, the surface of the cocktail, so that way you know you're gonna get that good Consistency, that's what you want to get is like, you want to be able to drink it, right? You don't want it to be not able to be slurped up. And that's the Gabba Ghoul, yes. Okay, <laughs> this is really going to become a thing. This is ridiculous. Um, so, uh, and you want to be able to drink it through a straw so it's not like it's just a big frozen block of ice and you don't want it to be too watery. So let's see how I did here. I'm going to blend this up. Sorry if it's crazy loud. Just talking to, you know, typed out words. So it's hard to keep a conversation and actually remember what it was that I said. So hopefully it wasn't weird. That's that's what we're going for. Not weird. All right. So I added like three more ice cubes and another uh, another quarter of avocado. And Yeah, 
you slurped it up. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. That's a technical term. I'm the bartender here. I know the technical terms. Don't you tell me, sir. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to use the same glass that has this beautiful, delicious lime salt on there. And I'm going to add this. Oh, this is like, this is like the best right here. It's so good. Okay. With this one, it's almost like perfect pour too. Uh, you know, not to pat myself on the back too hard. But uh, with this one, like, so imagine you're having a margarita and the ice is in there and you let it sit for two hours and the ice totally melts. If you drink that, it's gonna taste like water, right? So what we did is we just blended up all that ice. So you really wanna make sure you hit it with enough acid, enough tequila, which I think we did, uh, and enough flavor so you don't just taste a watered down like, what is this? I've got some straws in here. That's where I keep the straws. Only Benny straws is the way to go. Uh, and that's a good little thing right there. Straw stands totally up. I'm gonna pass this to my guest at the bar, Chelsea Dahl. Uh, you can't see her, so she can go ahead and grab that. And um, I've got avocado all over my laptop, so that's cool. And let's see how I did. Yes. Yes. There's a lot of head nodding. Smiling. And slurping. A lot of slurping. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. This is really me. Avocado emoji. I like it. Thank you. Um, Belly moved it and margarita. What else is going on out there, people? That's all the cocktail making I have for today. This is a quick one, like I said, but I'm recording this and I will be putting it on YouTube. Uh, here's some fun news for anyone that's following the cocktails from home. Business launch should have a little promotional video out by the end of the week. Working with a video editor, I just compiled all the content that I have, that I've saved, that I've recorded, and whatnot, and just gave it all to her and said, do something cool with this. So, fingers crossed that we got a cool thing coming up. Uh, I have not tried it with, I think it's Tajin, Tajin, I don't know. I probably sound ridiculous, but I've actually never tried that before at all. But from what I get, I think it's like a chili lime salt. So what we did, right? Because I think he joined a little late. Uh, I know a good voiceover guy too. It's my dad. Um, so check it out. What we did is we took kosher salt and I finely grated some lime zest in there. And then if you want to make your own homemade tiny, you add chili powder. Which we're out of. So, mm -hmm. uh, I think we are actually, but maybe we're not. Maybe we have it, but I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes looking for chili powder in this crazy pantry and make everybody bored and, and unfollow us. I wanna keep y'all happy. So what I'll do is tell you that kosher salt, finely grated lime zest, and chili powder. Mix it all together and you've got like a homemade tahini. I like this lime salt just by the way, by itself. My sister always talks about tahini on watermelon, so I gotta try that for sure. Also, guys, hit me up in the comments. Keep this party going, or is it over? Is it over? Chelsea, tell me all the descriptive words you can about that avocado margarita. I feel like I'm being healthy and eating dinner and being happier. All yes. at the same time. Yes, healthy and happy. I don't even have to cook now. Yes. Sorry. It's like dinner also. You don't even have to worry about making dinner. Also, a little, a little add in on that avocado margarita. Cilantro. Tiny bit of cilantro. It just kind of like goes with all those flavors. Lime, avocado, tequila, right? So, a little um, cilantro in there. It is delicious. Gabagool. Gabagoolish. I can do a beer burrito. <clears throat> I have never heard of beer burrito. Oh, I have. I have not. Um, really? I have not heard of one. I know micheladas, we did those last week or last time we did this, but I've never heard Same of a thing. beer burrito. Sounds good. So, Mark, I think we started a second video, right, where we did one, we switched the phone. <coughs> and I was telling everybody 
that the best way to kick off your margarita Monday is to eat way too many chips and salsa. So right before we went live, Chelsea and I crushed like half a bag of chips and salsa, totally ruined our appetite. And I think we're gonna have like pork tenderloin for dinner anyway, so it's not like we're even carrying through the theme of Margarita Monday, but we tried. Add a Dos Equis in the margarita. A guacarita, I love that, that's awesome. Yes, it is a guacarita with cilantro. I'll put some, I don't know, maybe like tomato juice. That's, now we're getting a little too crazy, a little too crazy, but guacarita. Who made one? JR, I know you said that you were going to participate along with us. So I want to see pictures. Shout us out on Instagram. Uh, it was peach salsa, Andrew. And yes, it was famous. It was so darn good. But I haven't made salsa since that time when everybody came out here to visit and I made homemade salsa to show off my homemade salsa skills. And, uh, uh, and I think that was the last time I made it. But yeah, homemade salsa, so good. We can evolve this into like a salsa class one day too. I don't know. Not the dancing, the food. Oh. Um, oh, already got pictures posted on the Facebook. Chips, margaritas, and pork tenderloin is a great date night. And Chelsea found a recipe that's got like, what is it, like cinnamon and like currants and stuff. So it's like a totally winter pork tenderloin, but it was amazing. It really matches 100 degree weather. You know, it's perfect <laughs> for when it's 100 degrees out and you want to wear just a bathing suit everywhere you go. Yes, come on out for the salsa. I do make darn good homemade guacamole. I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh, very humble and modest also. I like to, you know, uh, not brag about how good my salsa and my margaritas are. But let's see, there's only like seven of y'all on here, so if y'all got a few more questions or comments or something, um, let's hear it or else I'm gonna get going. We can talk about Netflix or whatever y'all want. One comment, one comment, or else I gotta go. One comment or I gotta go, come on. Somebody help me with a question. Nope, all right, I guess it's over. This was cool, I hope y'all had fun. I hope uh, y'all made some margaritas or at least made some plans to make some margaritas. Oh, Try the avocado. Or yeah, if you don't have time to make a margarita, shots of tequila is a great substitute. Um, so when will the next one be? So let's talk about the next one. What do y'all want to see? I said Margarita Monday. Cause I think it was Vicky who said that she wanted to try a spicy margarita. So what should the next one be? Um, I heard Guy Fieri is Gator Teenies. Nice. Uh, we got some camping trips booked, so we have to make Gator Teenies. But Gator Teenies real easy. One part Gatorade, ten parts vodka. Gator Teenie. Um, and I did hear a rumor that Guy Fieri is going to guest star on Cocktails from Home Instagram Live. But we're probably about a couple months away from that. So once I know more details, I will let everybody know about Guy Fieri, gonna be a guest star on our Instagram Live. It's pretty cool. Spicy Chipotle Mango Margarita. That sounds amazing. That sounds so good. Okay, so JR, fall might be coming to the East Coast, but fall is still like three months away in Austin. So I'll save all the pumpkin spice stuff and then drink that in December because it is not gonna be cold here anytime soon. But Something old fashioned, Manhattans, those are classics. Smoked. Smoked. So I would have to get one of those smoke machines where it's got like a, like a vacuum and a hose and you just load the mesquite here, you light it, and then you put like a dome over top of the drinks and the smoke goes in and it smokes the, the whiskey and everything. That's pretty cool. Tim Pav wants a smoky drink too. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool idea. Um, I would have to make an investment <laughs> in, a, in a smoker. But if I'm buying a smoker, it's gonna be for brisket. Ooh. That's my boy, Andrew. That's my boy right there. There you go, baby. Mm -hmm. Blow torch and a block of wood. I'm, I'm like envisioning like 
like a block of wood with a hole cut out, and you just put the glass right there. You just light the whole thing on fire, lighter fluid, all that fun stuff. Um, I don't know. Thank y'all for joining. This is cool. This is the second one that we've done, so I'm still kind of figuring this whole thing out. Uh, as long as y'all like it, I'm gonna keep doing it because I have fun doing it too. And Chelsea loves margaritas, so, <laughs> uh, so everybody's everybody wins here. It's a win-win, except Bella because she's getting zero attention right now, and she's crying about it. She's a big baby. But uh, yeah, so next time, maybe a smoked drink. I'll look into that. I will definitely do some research and come up with a smoky cocktail. And uh, this is a lot of fun. Thank you all very much. Have a good night. And that's the Gabagool. <laughs>